Hello YouTube friends, I recently made a video and a web app to uh, predict the redacted text on the Robert Mueller's report. As you know, it came out a few weeks ago. Here it is. As you can see, it is heavily redacted and it's about the uh, the uh, the investigation um, into the Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Uh, and uh, here is the video I made on a topic. Please check it out. And here's the web app. So in the web app, what I put, I put in, for example, uh, the president's action towards Flynn, comma, Manford, comma, we don't know what name, it's a mysterious name. So I put that in and, uh, you know, and you can play around with the tools right there. And he returned and Kushner was receptive to uh, that such a formal investigation on the facts that the president was not under investigation. So, I mean, you, you keep running it, it keeps returning something different. But what I'm going to do here is show you how how uh, you can do this, uh, this tool, this RNN I just ran, using TensorFlow 2.0, Keras, uh, an RNN guru with a TPUs on the 500 page Mueller report for free and under five minutes. So welcome to the Viral ML Show. My name is Manuel Amunategui. I'm the author of a few books, including this one, Monetizing Machine Learning, where we take your, uh, we port your Python machine learning projects to the web for the entire world to enjoy. And we even look at paywalls to monetize your work. You can find this book and my other books on Amazon. Simply put, uh, you know, my first and last name in the Amazon search bar. Please sign up for uh, the newsletter, which is upper right, uh, the upper right corner. And uh, so you can get advanced access to my material and know what's going on with my new books. And also, if you like this, this stuff, you know, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps to, to know that people are looking at it and, and liking it. Um, so let's go back here. So how on earth can you do everything, all that for free and under five minutes? Well, you know, it basically means that somebody else set it up for us. And that's exactly uh, what happened to unredacted words, Google Colabs. Google Colabs is a great tool. Uh, it has, uh, you know, all sorts of free stuff on all sorts of incredible models. I highly recommend that you check it out. So we're gonna be using the text generation using a RNN with eager execution. This is the new stuff that's coming out, it's supposed to be a lot easier to do. And in this, you know, you'll find a link here. You can do it, you can see the code to predict, um, to, to do this RNN with the eager execution on Shakespeare. And basically it's gonna generate Shakespeare. So all we have to do is change two lines of code, actually one line of code. I'm gonna show you where it is. Right here, instead of the path that normally goes to uh, Shakespeare, and there is, uh, you know, it shows you the link where you get the Shakespeare text, we're simply gonna ch change it to the Mueller.txt file, which is actually on my site. I'm hosting on my site so you can use it there. And that's it. Just, instead of, you know, instead of having it generate Shakespeare, we're gonna have it generate Mueller. So this is what's really cool about this. Um, so, uh, uh, so, you know, basically Colab, you will need a Google account. Uh, you know, I have a bunch of them and it's free. So that's, what's really cool. So go ahead, you know, sign up for a Google account, uh, you know, go to, uh, the link I, I just put there and hit the run in Google lab. Once you in, in Google Colab, once you're there, you know, it's change, you know, it's super, super easy to operate. You simply hit the play button right by each, you know, snippet of code. And make sure you know you load the uh, the, the 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 Mueller text, not the Shakespeare text, unless you want to you know generate Shakespeare, which is fun too as well. And then simply click it, you know, run every single one, and read read what it says, read the explanations because it's really interesting. And finally, uh, you know, we're gonna go all the way to the model. So I've already ran it. Uh, a few a few things you can be running on TPUs. It's automatically set to run on TPUs, which is really cool. And here is the model that we're running. And let me just keep scrolling here to the point that I want to talk about. Here. So it will default to epoch, to three epochs. I mean, it's going to run it three times. That's just going to be pure garbage that you're going to get. So I recommend going to uh, epoch 30. You could try more, you could try less, have some fun. Uh, it's super fast because it's running on TPUs. Uh, if you're running on a local machine, it could be 30 epochs on the Mule test would be a few hours. On uh, Colab, it's just, you know, uh, you know, two or three minutes, super fast. Then keep running, keep running. And at the end, you'll see there is this uh, function called generate text. Once you're there, enter something fun. So I also changed the line, you know, instead of saying Romeo, because there's no Romeo mentioned in uh, uh, the Mueller report, enter something else. So here I put, for example, uh, 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 the presence uh, action towards Flynn, comma, man for the same thing I did before. I mean, I'm gonna spell this correctly. Same thing I did before, I hit play and it's gonna predict text for us. The present action towards Flynn, Manford, and Kushner before when he says that he uh, cluddly recorded a fee, told Nader uh, that he did not want Flynn made to Nader 
blah, 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 blah. So, you know, that's how it works. Super easy. Under five minutes, you now can generate your own uh, your own text. Obviously, there's a lot of tuning you can do, right? As you, you remember, it's a, it's a fairly complex model. There's a lot of areas to tune it to make it a lot better. And you can, you know, learn how to use it. Learn how to use RNNs, Keras, TensorFlow 2.0. Uh, learn how to tune this model. Make it better on, on the Mulo text or on somebody else's text. It's all free. It's phenomenal. So one quick last thing I want to close with. I want to thank Paul Mooney who uh, on Kaggle who... Uh, uh, kind of uh, tr uh, transfer the PDF to CSV, and I'm using his CSV. Uh, I did some additional work on it. That's, that's the one you're using here, so we can feed it directly into uh, Colab, but he's the one who did the bulk of the of the work, which changing, you know, uh, uh, transferring, you know, PDFs to CSV is never a fun thing. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a good, big thumbs up if you like it, and sign up for the newsletter.